Hello guys, what is up? It is Cameron back once again bringing you guys a new video and today I'm going to be talking about Cyberlink's PowerDirector video editing app for Android devices. Now this application is free to download but if you want to get the full experience there is a $5.99 in-app purchase which just kind of adds some additional features and removes the advertisements. Now if you want to pick this up there will be a link uh, to the Google Play Store in the description down below so you can check it out if you do want to download this application. Now this video is being brought to you by Cyberlink so huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel I'm going to be giving you guys my personal opinions and showing you all the different features of the application keep in mind that these are my personal honest opinions so I'm just telling you what I think of this application and I'm not telling you 100% that you need to buy it or you don't need to buy it that's really up for you to decide now when you first boot up this application you are going to be greeted with a landing screen and on this screen you're able to edit your past projects or create a whole new video project what we're going to do today is create a whole new video project so I can show you guys all the different features of this software now once you're actually into the editing software you have a couple different options right off the bat the first option is to add clips to your uh, you know video edit to the timeline um, and this application gives you the option to either add video capture which means straight from the Android device use a color board which is basically a solid background you can add that on there and then do a video overlay. Um, you can pull some videos from your Google Drive, which means download them from the internet, you know, that you've uploaded to Google Drive, or you're actually able to import clips that you may already have on the device. Um, and you can add pictures, videos, and music. So once you've added your clip, you're actually able to start editing. And for this project, I'm using a clip that I did film on my Canon DSLR. So it is 1080p, 30 frames a second, and it is handling it perfect on the tablet. So keep that in mind, you are able to do editing from other cameras on this device. Now it's easy to skim through the timeline on here. It really makes it easy for you to see your clips and slide through to see what you need to edit. The first thing that we are going to do is going to be add some text to this picture. I'm going to add a Cameron Reviews little text watermark on there. Um, it's very easy. All you have to do is go into the text editor, you know, type in your stuff, and then you're able to resize it and place it wherever you want to. This is very convenient because like I said, I can add a little watermark, you know, to make the video mine. In addition to adding text, you're also able to add the stickers that they have in app and also images so you could do a picture and picture overlay um, I'm not a huge fan of the stickers but it is very convenient to be able to add images as well you're also able to do some advanced editing to the clip meaning that I can change the brightness the contrast and the saturation on each individual clip this is pretty great because I didn't expect this from an Android app I didn't expect you to be able to do this um, but it actually handles it good and you can change the different settings to your liking to get the best video output like all video editing apps you're also able to add transitions to videos they actually have some decent ones which are things like flashes and just quick transitions but in addition to those they have some cheesy ones like this burn effect which kind of burns away to the next clip these are just transitions in between video shots and you can add them wherever you want to and they have a pretty good selection of them so you can definitely find the transition that fits into your video another fun and kind of cheesy thing they have in this application are the different effects um, these range from like pulsing to slowing down and things of that nature. Um, these are kind of pointless for me, like I would never use them, but people that do just want to have fun with the editing app, these could be cool for them. Um, I personally don't really ever plan on using these, but I guess it's cool that they do have it on there. Now it is pretty easy inside the Cyberlink software to trim down all your different video clips and images. Let's say for instance I wanted to trim down an image to match up with the video, I'd easily be able to do that. You just select the different ends and drag it to where you want it. Um, it's pretty easy to do. I'm not going to lie, it's much easier to do all this on the computer but uh, if you're on the go and you only have your Android device this isn't a bad option now once you're satisfied with your editing you are able to produce or render the video um, and it gives you a couple of different options inside the app you're able to save it to your gallery which means you basically just save it to your Android device and you can render it in full HD HD or standard definition if you do have the free version I think it only renders in standard definition but if you do add the in-app purchase it bumps it up to full HD you're also able to easily send it to Facebook or YouTube right from this device right from the app so it's very convenient you can just go straight from the app right to the source which is Facebook or YouTube if you so desire um, so I'm glad that it gives you these options and rendering doesn't take that long through this app my uh, Android device isn't the fastest and it still didn't take that long to render alright guys so overall this was my first time editing on an Android device and it really was not a bad experience at all through Cyberlink um, I just edited that short clip but it really wasn't hard to figure out it wasn't hard to do all the different things that you're able to do through this application so I feel like it's pretty simple and intuitive um, and you know even beginners are able to pick this thing up 
and start using it. So, I mean, from my experience, I actually really enjoyed this application. I obviously am not going to really edit on it because, I mean, I have a desktop computer and a laptop. So, really editing so much easier on computers. But like I said, if you only have an Android device, then this is not a bad option. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching my video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel for more content. I usually don't do application reviews, mainly do product reviews and unboxing videos. So, if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure to check out all my other videos and also subscribe to the channel for more. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I do hope you enjoy and I will catch you in my next video. See ya.